First up, we have Synthesize. Uh, one mana, add a random one, two, and three cost elemental to your hand. It's kind of like that Druid card we had that was add random, like, one, two, three. I don't know if it's that many, but it was add random beast to your hand. It was terrible. I also think this is terrible. I'm going to hit a one. <laughs> that, that card was a uh, two cost though right was it bro it was yeah at least oh this is God, a one cost i'll give this a two because it only costs one and i don't know in uh, in the situation where we have like a garbage draw it makes it so that we have actual playable things but it doesn't it, look good they didn't even yeah. print a single elemental in the set well, in Mage's set, at least. What I'm is the pull for this? Spin. Oh, wow. Actually, no, no, no. So this has a really high likelihood of giving you the one mana um, armor gain elemental that's coming back to standard. Oh, true. Yeah. Is I don't know. There could be some like big spell mage power type thing that might need this to get the... No, no. It's a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The elemental stuck. All right. It's never this card. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at it. Uh, it's a two. Dang it. You know what this I... card is? A one. Oh, I put the <laughs> optimistic three, but it probably is the two. I just, you know, you know what? The, no, we need wait, this to be wait, a wait. shaman card. Give me wait, elemental these, shaman. Pick. This can, this can get any elemental, right? Not just mage. Yes. Yeah. It should. Yeah, it should be able to generate any elemental and right standard. That's kind of popping, but the arcane artificer. We have the submerged yeah. space rock. Probably too early. I think it could be decent at some point, but it's probably better from a discover than anything. It's there's a good literally one. like there's literally like one elemental per mana cost. <laughs> there's like actually nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so there, there's one. There's one one mana one and one two mana one in the mage class. I'm looking at neutrals now. <laughs> death chiller's kind of sweet though. You, you have bubbler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah, going to generate all the amalgams because there's no elemental. But I mean, it's not just, yeah, it's just any elemental, right? Like any one, Yikes. two, and three. It's It could be any class elemental, too. Oh, true. Yeah, not just mage or neutral. All right, that, that's so, what keeps it to a... a, 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 a two, two, Tark yeah. it. Tark. <laughs> all right, there, so. I mean, there is the coming into core. There's also the, the one that's going to freeze, the two one that freezes. That is true. Except I put this on one, so when am I playing my one drop? Well, I don't know. Uh, I just listed a good element. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. You want logic this beyond that? Sad. I like the art. It looks cool. The art is cool. But, yeah. All right. Sick. Um, I lost where I was because I looked through the collection. Let me move the stream. There you go. All right. Okay. Cosmic Keyboard. Two mana, O3 weapon. After you cast a spell, summon an elemental with stats equal to its cost, and you lose a durability. This card is awesome. You can play this at any point in the game. It seems great. Like, play this, rip a Deathborn, get a 6-6, six, six, play this, Blizzard, I don't know. Even just, like, cheap stuff. Every spell gets, like, solid value. It seems really good. Do we know the ordering of it? Would your Deathborn make it a 6-6 six, six or a 6-4? Six, 6-6. Six, six. Take damage. If it said whenever, it would be a 6-4, but since it says after, it would be a 6-6. Six, six. Nice. So yeah, I think this is really good. I'm on a 4 for this. Honestly, it could I be agree. 5. I actually think it's insane. I give this a 4. Uh, I really like this. Um, I mean, just like tempo stuff alone is pretty solid. I think this is really, really good because it has three durability and it only costs two mana. That's like a lot. Even if you just do like a, like if you just play a 3-3, three, three, a 4-4, four, four, and a 5-5 five, five with this, that's insane. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 4-2 because I think you're just going to be slotting this on any mage deck that plays a good amount of spells and stuff. Hmm. I am kind of on the opposite of everybody else then. I don't really like this. I have it as a two like, i i think you don't want to be playing this just kind of in any mage deck i think you really actually want to play this and try to get at least mid you know mid level stats so you're not going to be wanting to play this if you're pulling some sort of like aggressive thing where you're dealing you know casting one two cost spells i don't i don't know i'm just eh, it's 
it's okay to me, but I don't think it's going to be, like, I think it maybe goes in one deck. That's it. Yeah. I like having the different takes. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Somebody's going to be the right. On this is really <laughs> cool, too. Somebody's got to be wrong. I mean, right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or both. <laughs> or both. Yeah. True. This card sucks for the Viper meta next. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Viper's always there. Okay. Next up, we have Infinitize the Maxitude. Two mana, discover a spell. Finale, return this to your hand at the end of turn. Uh, it's kind of like the Svalna spell, except you don't always get it unless you finale it. It's pretty good with uh, Ramath, which gives you repeated spells for things that didn't start in your deck, so maybe there, but. In general, I feel like this is really slow, and having to finale it means you have to discover the end of your turn, which makes it worse as well. So, I think it's probably pretty bad. I'm going to give it a 2. I think this card is pretty good. I'm giving this a 3. Um, uh, it probably has to go in some kind of, like, controly mage deck, though, and I'm not sure that exists at the moment, but you like finale is a pretty easy thing to trigger you can just it's a it's a one of spells so at any point that you might have two awkward mana you use this at the end of your turn to set up your next turn you get it back and then you might wind up using this to discover your lethal at the end of the game when you know you don't need to get it back um i think this card would be like omega broken probably in wild for stalling controlling mage decks that just have uh like infinite value because of this card um but the card itself, the fact that it can go infinite means it, it could be super broken at some point. Um, I think it's solid enough for right now to, to see play in at least um, a few mage decks. I'd like to see this card at one mana, to be honest. I think it's yeah. so broken at one mana. This probably should have been... Isn't there a what, two mana one three that does this exact same thing? Except it discounts the card. Uh, by exact same thing, do you mean discover? Because this... it's a really <laughs> wide yeah, it, does, it does not it's return it to your hand. <laughs> like, so, this like, discovers a spell, but from any class. Doesn't that 2 minute 1 3 discover any spell? Well, this does not yeah, discover any yeah, spell. Yeah, the, the elemental is a 2 mana 1 3 body that discovers any spell from any class and also discounts that spell by 1, but this is a very uniquely different effect. You only get mage spells. Right, right, right. Um, this card is great to discover, but not to run. Like, I, if you're saying, isn't there a, another card that does the exact same thing? I'd tell you there's like 87 cards that do the exact same thing. <laughs> like <Yeah>. Discover. <laughs> I'm going to give us an A plus for artwork and a, a 1 for actual. Oof. Ouch. I, I'm actually I hate no believers. You know, I'm, I'm, vibing with, I'm with Ron on this one. I think this is a three. I kind of like it. Hey. Honestly, even just like playing this on turn two, you get a spell. Finale, return it to your hand. I mean, if you're playing this on turn two, you wouldn't be playing the spell anyways. So cool. Or like turn four, play something or do a hero power in this. Like, I think mage is one that you can discover stuff to do a lot more setups than in some other classes um i don't know i just I, I think as well with some of the other like i've seen a lot of people talking about kind of like a an aggro mage or tempo mage style deck coming around i think this fits in there pretty decently um plus you know it's only uh it's a legendary so there's only going to be one in your deck so i mean if you don't even find it then okay like whatever you're don't care about the finale anyways because you haven't drawn it so i don't know i don't think it's like that terrible that is fair it's a cool card the art is cool maybe it's good yeah we will have to see next up rewind two mana arcane spell discover a copy of another spell you've played or sorry cast this game um it's okay it's two mana discover like something that you play in your deck uh meh i'll give it like a two it's not terrible Maybe you want to play it with raw math to get more stuff, but 
doesn't excite me. I went three on this also. Um, this is more uh, solid alibi. I think it could be super toxic. Uh, it might go like extra broken. I don't think it's something that necessarily goes in like multiple decks, uh, although it might. Um, depending on what the restriction might be, like Agro Mage maybe doesn't want to run this because it's not Frost, so uh, that could ruin the three mana summon. But um, it's it's a powerful card, just giving you over and over more things that you really really want. So if you're playing like Savara and you played an Alibi and a Rewind in that Savara, you have like infinite Alibis, like that's messed up. Oh no! That's so annoying. No, why'd you have to bring that up? Nobody do that, please. Nobody do that. <laughs> Don't. Oh, if I have to play against that, I'm blaming you, Ron. <laughs> Don't play me. Those. I took that idea from someone else. <laughs> well, who? Has... No. Oh, don't. I hope that doesn't happen. I don't want to see that. Oh, it'll probably happen, but <laughs> it probably will, and I'll be very sad. Um, I don't know. I like this. I like this. Uh, I, I think it's. I think it's a three, maybe even a little better. I think this actually is something that multiple mage decks wants to play. Like discovering a copy of a spell that you've cast. It, maybe, honestly, I think actually the one deck that doesn't want to play this is the deck that generates a bunch of random stuff. I think you play this in other right. decks that aren't that because you want to be discovering a copy of a spell that you purposely put in your deck, not just some like random card that you generated and then played. Um, so I, I like this one a lot. I, I think it's at least a three for me right now. Yeah, I'm going to also give it a three. I think that, you know, good mage decks are going to play good mage spells and being able to discover good cards that you put in your deck is probably really good. So I'm going to give it a three. Up next, audio splitter. I don't know why my mic got muted, but it did. All right. Uh, audio splitter. Death Rattle copy the high co highest cost spell in your hand. Three mana, four, three mech. Uh, no. <laughs> but we can attach Ziliax to it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Still no, but I'm giving this a one. I don't really see what we're doing with this. I think Neji just likes Mage too much uh, and wants the cards to be better. Um, I don't hate this. I don't think it's great either. I'm giving this a two. Like, I think it's kind of fringe because um, it's not super strong. But, I mean, there's applications. Just getting more copies of something that could be really powerful is uh, is potentially useful for some different strategies Mage wants. Go to. Hmm. Interesting. I, I think I'm actually a little bit higher on this one. I'm a three on this. I think um, the... Uh, okay, I, I should back up a little bit and say I think that I underrated the one spell from previously or the minion that died and then gave you the two copies of uh, the arcane bolt. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to make the mistake this time around. I, I think that the death rattle is actually going to be decent. I do like that. It's a mech. You, yeah. I, yeah. If you can Ziliax on this sweet, um, but it's, I, I think even if you just have like a, a smaller ish or, or mid game spell and you get a discount on it or uh, copy it. Cool. Like if your highest spell is three costs and you get a copy, I think you're there's still value there. So I'm, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. Plus I want mech mage to come back. So I think this could also maybe go on a mech mage deck. I give it a, I'm going to give it a two. All right, on to Hollow Technician, three mana, three four. After any minion takes exactly one damage, destroy it. Uh, this is really good with Shooting Star. That is about it. I mean, obviously your hero power. What really sucks about this is it's a me, including this. So, like, if you're a Tempo King and you want to play this on turn three, it's really bad because if they just deal one damage to it. It dies. Um. So that's kind of awkward. I like jamming my three mana three fours on three, and this this is not a three four usually. So that sucks. But if you're like heavy control and don't care, uh, it's good removal for shooting star or ping. I think it's pretty fringe though. 
I'll give it two. You're missing the combo. Spectral Trainee finally sees play because of this, maybe. Six mana combo. So, plus well, a spell. six so mana combo. Six. Plus, it's probably because <laughs> you mm. have to like run or <laughs> make it work. I'll just. Play. Kinda cool. Uh, and you can pair this together with the ping to remove another thing. It, it probably would wind up being a turn five play a lot of the time to ping some scary minion down. Sure. I think I'm gonna give it a three. It's a key support control decks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a hard one for me between a two and a three. Also, like seen... taking all edge ratings and adding by adding plus one. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, it's not just ways that there's lots of trigger it, and we have seen combos like this make it into standard, you know, especially in lower power level standard before, but I think it's still kind of fringe. I'm going to give it a two. Well, for some reason, my rating sheet is like freaking out. Nah, it's not, it like froze. Uh, so I don't remember. I, I gave it either a two or a three, but I don't remember which one I gave it. Um, but it's it's really interesting. I do think that there's multiple ways to to use this effect uh, with the with the hero power. Or there's one mana sp or one damage spells. Even a one attack minion could clear something. Um, yeah, the downside is this potentially works against your own minions, but I think that might be okay. And uh, there's also I'm glad. What what's the uh, the minion is going to be rotating, but the one that your hero power deals its damage to all minions. Oh, Reckless? Yeah, Reckless Prentice. Reckless I'm glad Prentice. Reckless is leaving with this coming in, because if I had to play against that, I'd be really upset. <laughs> uh, like, this with Reckless Apprentice would just be gross. Um, but I still think it's all right. I was hyped to do the mage cards, and I read them, and I was less hyped. <laughs> uh, Been there. It's okay. There's still a good one coming up. It's fine. It'll save the class, I swear. All right. Uh, next up is Light Show. Three mana arcane spell. Shoot two beams at enemy mini the enemies that deal two damage. Shoot one more for each Light Show you've cast this game. Why does this have so much text? Uh, I'm kind of confused as this works. Is it do random? We know this is, yeah. Do we know if this is targeted or not? I would assume enemies. it's not targeted. Because then you could just like shoot their face a bunch of times. It sounds kind of broken. Because it doesn't say different enemies either. So like but the fact that it I says, yeah, it doesn't say random enemies. How do we get because more it light doesn't shows. say random enemies? Makes me feel like you can actually target it. But I have no idea how it works. I feel like they didn't enough have enough room for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really know how to evaluate this. How are we getting more like rewind? I guess. Yes. This is not seem like good. Seems like we're jumping through a lot of hoops to not do that much. Especially if we don't get the pick. If we don't get the pick, I'm giving this a one. I'm giving it a one anyways. <laughs> and I'm going on a rabbit hole to find if you have to target this. I will be back. Well, I'm still here, but you know. I feel like if it's targetable, I'll give it a three. If it's not targetable, I'll give it a two. I gave it a two. I figured it was not targetable. I thought it was random. Uh, I think there's just not enough room. <laughs> like as she said, I, I think there's just too much text, or they couldn't also fit that. I mean, I'm, I almost want to give it like a one off, like just how they worded the first sentence. Like <laughs> they they could have just said they they could just had a way simpler way of putting it. But... Uh... It's it's cool looking though as a card, and the effect could, is kind of cool. They could have said they could said deal two damage to two enemies. <laughs> yeah, but beams yeah. implies that the animation I, will be really cool. This to me makes it seem like it's similar to uh, the the light cannonballs for warrior. I would just said like you know sh uh, you would hit two enemy minions with. But I don't think that specified that it was random, did it? But I, I think it's the same philosophy. I don't know. I see this as like a slightly more expensive 
type of fail barrage for mage in like a weird way um it it highly depends on how controllable it is for how good it's going to be but the fact that it keeps scaling could be kind of insane i'm just gonna give it a two because of wording <laughs> i like it <laughs> fair yeah, i mean yeah i i think it's a two anyways but yeah, I don't know. Also, yeah, someone in chat kind of asking, and th this is what's like, it's kind of confusing rating some of these things until we actually see it in action, until we actually get to play with it. But, you know, they're saying if it's going to shoot nine beams, because you've replayed it, does it shoot nine separate ones? Does it shoot all of them at the same time? Like, how does that work? I, it's, it is hard to tell. I feel like they would go off independently. Like it would go, you know, one beam, one beam, one beam, um, and just do two damage each time and not go off at the same time. But who knows till we actually give it a try. Yeah, I looked it up and it seems like it's an arcane missiles, basically, which is what you were saying. Okay. It just ah, shoot, yeah. keeps shooting two. That makes sense. At random That's things. Funny. So you, if there's no minions on board, it just goes face a bunch of times. Um, but yeah. I just thought about this. You could use the new legendary from the last set that doubles your arcane spells, which could be good. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta spend five on that minion and three on this. Well, if like you that. put a few of these, that's and they have no board, it's that's actually not that much damage. <laughs> this card sucks. Uh all right. Confirmation be, it confirmation be down to one. <laughs> it's never a light show mage. Alright. I'm giving it a two. On to Keyboard Soloist. More Soloist cards. Everyone's favorite. 4 mana 2 4 Naga. Battle Cry. If you control no other minions, summon 2 1 2 Amps with spell damage plus 1. No. This looks really bad. 1. 2. Uh, I took Neji's rating and added plus 1. <laughs> what if I give a card a 6, Ron? 7. Nah, valid. Okay. Not Another install one. Hearthstone, I think, is the is the rating for seven. Uh, <laughs> no, honestly, I don't like totally hate this card. Um, there could be a spell like a burn focused spell mage that really wants to take advantage of the spell damage thing, and you could play this first and then play another spell damage minion or something. It, it's obvious, it's not good, but I don't think it's that bad. It's a decent amount of stats too for four mana. And it's like a bad an guild trader. The worst part of it is that you have to have no minions on board. Sad. Like, yes. by far. Like, Soloist is a brutal, um, I don't know, style of thing to print. I feel like it's just way worse than the other option. So the, the classes that get the Soloist things are at a disadvantage just by the fact that they have Soloist cards that are mostly unplayable. I don't know. This one is... This one's really interesting. It's... <sighs> I, I don't know if I want to pay four for this necessarily, but I do like that it's a Naga, and you'll get the spell damage. I think this is still going to be pretty good in some sort of, like, tempo or aggro-ish mage where you're trying to deal a bunch of um, damage with, with cheap spells. Uh, it, it's not my yeah, favorite, but... those decks but... want board. Those decks want to put things on board, and then your battle cry means that this is just a four mana two four do nothing. Like, oh my god. I mean, they, they sometimes have minions, but not always. If you're really focused on just the spells, I don't think you're going to have a ton of minions. And it does feel like those boards get cleared pretty easily. I don't know. Like, I'm giving it a two. I don't think it's, like, all that great. But I, there could be a deck for it. I, I don't yeah. feel like it's a one. Yeah, the, the soloist thing just feels weird. But I, I think there's something here. More than the Demon Hunter one. That Yeah, that one was just awful. Honestly, the soloist cards could just not say if you control no other minions and none of them would be broken. Okay, okay. Here's what we do with this card, I guess. We run the neutral card that lets your mana go up to 11. And then you play this card first. And then you play the two mana card that makes your arcane spells cost one less and then you play the vexalis and unload with a bunch of um you know free crazy powered um like arcane bolts or something 
I don't know. It's not going to win games, but it's a combo that someone can do and make a YouTube video out of. Truth. <laughs> Magister's Apprentice. That's a card. Play Apprentice. Uh, you have to play this soloist first, then Apprentice, then Vexalis, and then go nuts with Arcane Bolts that you've been like setting up all game and somehow not dying uh, to that point. Four. No. <laughs> All let's right. let's not and say we did. All right. Um, that's the next one. We have Volume Up, four mana arcane spell. Draw three, finale, discover a copy of one. Hello? Four mana sprint? I am in. Um, yeah, this card is nutty. I'm giving this a five. I love it. Drawing cards is life. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go plus one on Nedge's rating anymore. <laughs> this finally broke the pattern. I agree, though, that this is a five. Like, this card is incredibly good. And uh, I, I, I will also, yeah, if I give it a five. Nice. Hmm. I don't think I rated it that highly. I, I like it, but I'm just putting it as a three. Maybe it's a four. Like, maybe I could give it a four, but... I'm going to be upset at you if you rate it's... this a three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why why right, do you not like drawing right. cards in your card games, Dragon I... Rider? <laughs> this card is really good. I do. I do. You know what? All right. Fine. Fine. It's a four. It's a okay, four. Okay. We've got uh... it. Okay, we did it. Let's it go. It's just the one mage card that feels like even if the rest of the mage cards were okay to good, this is the card that could push the deck over the limit to be very good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's it's a four. I don't know. I actually don't know why I had it as a three, but I don't think it's a five. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I just need one good mage card. I had to. Yeah. Uh, sadness. All right. Talking about another unplayable mage card. I mean, uh, DJ Mana Storm. Ten mana, eight eight. Battle cry. Set the cost of spells in your hand to zero. After you cast one, the others cost one more. So if you um, play one, the next one's one, the next one's two, etc. And it only counts the ones that are in your hand currently. Um, well, unfortunately, they rotated out every good big spell card, so there's actually not a single thing to play with this. So, yeah, I don't understand what to do with this. Maybe it'll be good later when they print big spells, but currently, you no. Know, like, moving it to one. Yeah, yeah he, he he gets booed off stage. Um, <laughs> and it's, 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 it's a one. It's, it's 10 mana. More 10 mana cards. <laughs> we can we can use this to cast our oh. Rune of the Archmage. Oh wait, that rotates? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well it's fine. We can play our use it to play our um Drake Fire Amulet. Oh wait, that rotates? Oh. <laughs> One. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, unlucky. Enough said. Alright, alright. There's there's potential. Okay, I gave it a two. Okay, because listen, that effect goes over multiple turns so you know that i mean i could have even seen this in like a control mage deck if there was blizzard and stuff still around but i believe they rotated blizzard <laughs> and for flame strike i mean yeah like um... i i think there's potential i think this does go somewhere but it's it's not gonna be in like every mage deck this is not uh, I, I don't even think you build your deck around this. I think this is just a card that goes in that one deck to help you with, with that. But uh, maybe. We'll see. 